Okay folks, this is the Geekcom A5 Mini PC and what I want to do today is show you how you can do a hard BIOS reset. Now the difference between a hard and a soft reset is that a soft reset requires going into the BIOS software in order to set the default values. Unfortunately, in my case, somebody has set a password on this computer and they can't remember what it is. Which means every time I turn this computer on, the first thing I'm greeted with is this enter password box. I cannot get into the BIOS, I cannot do anything. A lot of the things I found online explain how you can do the soft reset, but not a hard reset. So hopefully this will help you out if you are in a similar situation. And this little tutorial should work for other mini PCs as well, but there may be some differences. But let's go ahead now and go through the process. So what I've done is I've unplugged the computer itself and turned it upside down. I've popped it on this cloth just to protect the top cover here so it doesn't get scratched or damaged. And as you can see, we've got four screws, one in each of the feet here. So I have my screwdriver. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these. Actually, they don't physically remove. You just loosen them enough to be able to remove this base plate here. Okay, so with those feet loosened, I'm just going to go ahead and start pulling at them in order to remove the plate here at the bottom so that we can gain access to the main motherboard. Okay, now just be careful because there is a ribbon cable attached for the SSD. Now you don't need to remove the ribbon cable, but just be careful and be aware that it is actually there. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that down to the side. And here's the thing, I'm going to try and Bring the camera a little bit closer if I can so that you guys can see this. Right here we have this small connector here with a red and black cable. That is what we want, okay? That is the connection to the CMOS battery which is, lo which is located on the underside of the motherboard. So we're not going to, you know, go through the hassle of taking the whole motherboard out in order to access the battery to remove it. We can literally just disconnect this cable here, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. If need be, you can also remove the NVMe drive here to gain access to it. In fact, I'm also going to do that. This is not essential, but it does just make the job a little bit easier since you can access that now much, well, much more easily with your fingers. So I'm just gonna pop that down for the moment and we'll just disconnect this cable here. Okay, I've just disconnected the connector. I'm going to wait about 15 minutes and that will give time for the onboard memory that the battery was supporting to completely clear out. That will actually then, in theory, reset the BIOS to the default values. So let's see how this works. So I'm gonna come back to you in about 15 minutes. Okay, welcome back. So I'm now just gonna go ahead and reconnect this cable here. A little bit fiddly here with the camera. So just be careful not to damage the pins that this is actually connecting into, or you'll be in all heaps of trouble if that happens, unfortunately. There we go, That's, it's not too difficult though. I've now got that connected back in. And so we're ready to, oops, ready to pop the NVMe drive back in as well. This goes in at an angle, just like that. Just make sure that clicks into place and then push it down in order to put the screw back. Right, so I've just, plugged it back in, turned it on, and hopefully now, having waited 10 minutes with the cable unplugged before plugging that back in, yes, I'm not greeted with the password screen, the BIOS has been reset. I honestly do not know why people even put a BIOS password on anyway to access the computer. It's not like it keeps your files secure because the actual hard drive itself is still accessible. I could stick that in another computer and still access the files on it. So yeah, it just seems like something that you wouldn't wanna do. But there we go, I've reset the BIOS and I'm ready now to go ahead and hopefully start installing Windows on this PC. But yeah, got access to it once more. So hopefully this video has helped you guys out. That is how you reset the BIOS using hard reset on the Geekcom A5 mini PC. Let me know in the comments if you have any issues. Thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you next time.